Hey guys, what's going on? It's Lefty from 643 Productions coming at you here with another Black Ops sniping gameplay commentary. This is six-man team deathmatch on Hanoi. This is a shorter video, so I gotta get, jump right into it. Uh, the First Strike DLC came out for the PlayStation 3, and I've been reading the Call of Duty forums, and again, that's a small sample size, and really, you're only gonna get... More often than not, the negative side of things that happen and come out, but it looks like there are some problems already with the First Strike DLC. Frame rate issues, something called frame tearing, I'm not quite sure as to what that is. I have an idea, but I'm not exactly sure. And it looks like they've been having some problems already. And there was one interesting comment on the forums that I saw that was called the, the First Strike DLC, the maps, a strict port job, and I understand, I have a vague idea of what porting is, and I've seen Treyarch developers up and down deny the idea that PlayStation 3, anything Call of Duty Black Ops related for the PlayStation 3 is a port. They say that it was developed from the ground up, or at least imply that it was developed for the from the ground up for the PlayStation 3. And I was wondering if the more t any of the more technically inclined of you can give me some insight as to what exactly is going on there? Are there any kind of vagaries in terms that perhaps Treyarch is exploiting to to make it seem as though it isn't a port? Like, technically, by the letter of the law, you know, is it not a port? But for all intents and purposes, when you think about it and what they actually did, is it a port? You know, for all intents and purposes, like I said, a port. So I'm wondering if that's something that's happening, if, you know, if Treyarch is capitalizing on some technicalities to say, well, it isn't a port, when it really, you know, looking at what they did, is it really? I don't know. So if any of the more technically inclined of you PS3 players or maybe even Xbox players, I don't know, if you can give me some insight into that, that would be great. Let me know in the comments, send me a message, whatever, that'd be great. And... On the sniping patch, on patch 1.07, well, it wasn't just a sniping patch, but on the most recent title update, we have some more insight as to what happened. David Vonderhaar, after some tweeting on my part, some of it not so nice, I apologize, no I don't, but after just some some getting going on my part, Mr. David Vonderhaar, the lead developer, tweeted that definitively, the sniping patch or the launch day patch will never be removed. It will be tuned, but it won't be removed. I have no idea what limits are set on the tuning, but it is in his on his Twitter feed It's a, a while ago, but it, it, he said it definitively that the sniping patch will not be removed. And as a result of this, some, some snipers of more note than I have gotten in on the discussion, have started to weigh in. And I know I name drop him a lot, and I apologize if if it's getting too much for you, but really he's the only big voice that I've seen, and that's Hutch. And he started to, to get in, not get into it, but get, weigh in on the discussion and weigh in on the issue via Twitter. And I, I know a lot of you go to him, and of course I do. Like I said, we can be fanboys together. It's perfectly fine. And I, but I know a lot of you go to him or, or whatever for, for things of that nature. So what I want to ask you to do is if you want him, if you want Hutch to get involved in the, in the discussion, I ask you, or if you want, now I'm not going to say you got to do this or whatever, but I've asked him to, and it was not a subvert dual commentary request as some people believe, but I've asked him to get involved in the discussion and I was wondering if other people would like to hear it as well. And if you do, I would ask that you somehow contact him, whether it be via Twitter, via messaging him on YouTube. I don't want you to spam him necessarily, and I and I what I really don't want is you to tell him what he has to do. What I what I would like is for people to go to him as an authority, which he is, and ask him very nicely. Say, Hutch, man, you're the guy, pretty much. When it comes down to it, you are the guy. You know, rub his ass a little bit. Not in that way, but you know what I'm getting at. And just ask him, say, hey, can you get in on this? And say definitively, you know, whether it be, you know, doing a commentary or when, when you're talking about it in your road to commander or something like that, can you get into that? And just ask him nicely, ask for his input, and ask him to, to come out definitively to, to all the people that follow him and... 
ask him maybe to just throw his weight around a little bit because there's really only so much I can do. I only have, I'm, again, I'm not complaining. I love each and every one of you in your own special way, but I only have around 1,100 subscribers. And really, I don't think my videos get that much circulation. If you like the hell out of this video or my other videos, I guess they will. But I'm not, I, I, I would think I'm a little bit above asking for that overtly. But if you want to get this some circulation, this issue, not just me, not just Hutch, but if you want this issue to get circulation, I think that would be something worth exploring. So just be nice, be courteous, and let's see what we can do because I don't think this issue is dead. But it's it's getting close to it from my point of view, and I think we have to sort of get going on this issue of something's really going to happen. All right, guys, that's my time. I got to get out of here. Thank you for joining. I hope you enjoyed this sniper gameplay commentary. I'll try to do it all over again next time. Thank you for joining. I am out.